Hey guys, first of all, Happy New Year. I hope you've had a great start into it. I didn't really have much time to record recently, so today I'm very happy to finally say that it's time to continue our God of War Ragnarok playthrough. So in our previous episode, we helped Freya find her missing piece, did lots of side stuff, explored Vanaheim, and then we traveled back to Sindri's house, where we are now supposed to check up on Atreus. I still think it might have been a bad idea to leave Atreus and Sindri unsupervised, but yeah, without further ado, Let's get right into it and take a look at what these two are up to again. I'm kind of worried that they won't be in the house, but let's see. Oh, come on, then. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company! Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sentry's so called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? Someone's You're arguing in there. Joints getting classier <laughs> by the day. He came out of the closet! I never thought I'd have the pleasure of seeing you again, Frigg. Uh, don't call me that. I haven't been that person in a long time. But I'm happy to see you too. I'd feared the worst for so long, what you must have been through. Nothing so bad as what you've suffered. Freya. I am so, so sorry to hear what happened to Balder. He was only a boy when I saw him last, but I know he meant more to you than anything. The arguing in the background. Yes. And to forbear your vengeance in this way, it's, it's truly an inspiration for those of us who believe in peace. The only peace these realms will ever know is once Odin is gone. Believe in that. So, you're not here to prevent Ragnarok, you're here to bring it about. I'm here to make sure Odin doesn't hurt anyone, the way he hurt us. I can see I've upset you. Forgive me. I am far removed from my days of diplomacy. Oh boy. I wonder who's arguing there. I truly there. thought we'd seen the last of Tyr. Perhaps there really is cause for hope. Okay. Um, not sure if I can talk She's to him. She's no less majestic than the last day I saw her. What a thing I must be to look at. All right. Let's put an end to this bickering. You better screw his head back on. And I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth. The truth is you're being a complete asshole. Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind. He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine <laughs> if you have secrets. It's fine if mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This, this is, is not escalating. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin, but I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Let go! Oh. What the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Just just try to keep control! Calm down! 
Oh no. Oh no. Don't do it! <sighs> Not the best outcome of that situation. Oh gosh. Freezing cold! Lots of hellwalkers! As you can see, I've not played in a while. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. Hear even more enemies. Please be patient with me. I did not have the chance to record in like more than a week. I tried to parry, it was terrible. But at least the enemies are not that good. Well, not really, I guess. Oh, they just don't stop spawning. Okay. Kraus. At least something out here doesn't want to kill me. Don't you dare trust some crows. Just need some place more. What are you yeah. doing? Then I can figure out where to go next. The runaway, oh boy. How would they miss anything? Find shelter. Yes. This is kind of a huge area, but I'm, I really think there's nothing here unless it's above. Alright. Oh. Oh no. Uh, that doesn't look good. No, that's one way to put it. I just want to grab this healing very quickly. What is this thing? Some kind of white? Oh shit! What is it you want? Oh shit! I'm 
necessary. Don't do that to me. Pure sentient magic, united by a singular purpose, the destruction of life, a natural defense response considering life has given way to Ragnarok. The white is created when a group of three wisps converge into one whole angry creature. If we come across three wisps as they are converging, it is quite possible to disrupt the process. No need to add how strongly I recommend doing so, but every little nudge helps. Alright, so... Wisps? Kill them on sight. More ravens. You trying to tell me something? More ravens. I might be a bit blind here. Oh. All right. But what's up here? Ah. Uh. Nothing? Alright. Okay. First, he thinks I've been to Asgore. Then, why? Now he really fell on his head. I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Oh shit, right. Gotta get out of the corner. That's it, only one little guy. Such a huge area. In another guy there. This is where it came from. There's legit nothing here. Except for some stinky enemies. Unbelievable. Give me loot. I want loot. The way he's standing there. Oh shit! Damn it! 
I keep hearing them, but I, uh, I can't see. If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where father ends up dead. So I don't do that. At home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. How about you don't he's do fine. that? Find out his plan. Get control of this. He's a kid, you know. <sighs> oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Yes. <sighs> you absolutely cannot. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. <gasps> Turtle! Sanctuary Grove. Turtle, are you okay? Oh, no. I'm gonna fucking lose it. Oh, come on. Charlie! Come on. No. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! Charlie! Hey, baby! Hey, big guy. Stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I I can't help if you don't. Emily! Emily! He wants to sleep. Good. Good boy. <sighs> What is this? Can't interact with it. I know, buddy. I know. It's cold in here. Oh. <sighs> I should close that window before snooping around. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. All right. Freya hasn't been checking on you. All right. Too busy, Too busy hunting, hunting us down. down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Light a fire for Charlie. Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. Is this... Baldur's? Whoops. Wonder how father was able to earn her forgiveness. I want to go outside. The garden was so beautiful. Wow. It's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanahan? She must have really missed it. Okay, buddy. Okay. I'll, I'll get, get you warmed, warmed up. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check yeah. on you. That's not an excuse. Back to Sindri's home, please. I can't 
stay. I just can't let my dad die too. Then There's don't fulfill the prophecy. I can do. Oh, come on. It, it's okay, buddy. No, it's not okay. I think he's here for me. Yeah. I'll be okay. I think. Don't do it. Yeah, roast that shit. <laughs> he's looking at the fire. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Patrice, no! Oh, come on. Is this Asgard? Where the fuck are you going? Can't believe he's going there on his own. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Charlie, Priya must have been so obsessed with hunting us that she neglected her giant turtle house, her so-called print. When I first saw Charlie out in the cold, I thought he might be dead. He's alive, but he's freezing out there alone. A little fire to keep him warm, but he's going to need someone to stay with him full time if he's going to survive much longer. And knowing that you still left? Hello? I'm here. Charlie Charlie ends up dying. Odin? I'm Bird. writing. Is this Asgard? Well that's hey, where you wanted to go. Don't act surprised. I mean, it's gorgeous, but damn. The wall! This, this is Asgard. Asgard. Hold on! I'm coming! Of course, there's stinky creatures here as well. Is why wouldn't there be? Oh, you don't seem friendly. No, oh, they're not. as well. But where? Oh, hi there. That is not who we're looking for, I think. But let's deal with him first. Oh, you must be kidding me. Come on. Dude, you're so fast. Come on! 
Just die, please. Don't embarrass me like that. So... What's up here? Ah! Oh shit! Why would you do that, game? Is there a way to stop this from happening? It's beautiful here. Yeah. Not a sign of Fimble Winter. I better keep heading towards the wall. Yep. I agree. You could have led me around those. Oh. What's here? Oh, come on. Stinky. They're so fast. Stop being so fast. I do feel kind of bad now. Can I shoot at him? I can? Should I? Alright, so that, that explains everything. I don't think there is anything else down there. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. Danger! I know! Got it! I see him! Nothing? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Uh, just checking. Oh, come on. Well, this might be the craziest thing I've ever done. But if that's what it takes to change Father's fate... You're literally doing the hey, thing. Hey, Bert! Where'd you go? Hold on! I'm coming! Just gotta find a way through. You're fulfilling the prophecy by going to Asgard. I mean, if you just stayed at what home. What am I gonna say to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy kind of way. <laughs> Where are they coming from? Oh, shit! That it's safe from the other side of that wall. Wait. How do I get past the wall? 
It never came up in a mere story about Hunter. The stonemason's son built a flaunt to it. He only told Frey about it. And I didn't think to ask. Hold on. I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. This is where we came from, and there is nothing else here, I think. That is a huge wall. Very huge. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> oh, little lizards. Tiny baby dragons. I regret nothing. Is, is that where we just came from? Sorry, I'm... <laughs> it's like, uh, almost 9 a.m. And I'd be lying if I said that I slept already, so... Excuse these brain parts. That's just me. Hmm. Father would just burn us away with his blade. But what can I do? I see all... Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my boat canal. What did Brock say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. Oh my gosh. All right. Oh no. Come on! Place the other sigil first. <laughs> like there this. we go. So what do we do here? So then that is possible indeed. <gasps> oh, it just automatically already opened this. <laughs> Yay! Splintered sigil. A trace fires a seeking sigil arrow that ricochets between enemies. That sounds great. Let's try it out. I see we're continuing the vase saga. Come on, birdie. Wait, that sounds like people. Oh. Need I'm guessing. Help? You, uh, a little lost. Those are the not so fortunate people. Oh. Uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's. I can see this way, except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? Nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit. Me too. I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh... All Father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, can you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. Oh, shit. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you staying? 
You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Let's go. <laughs> well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I was gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <sighs> Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Hugin. Who? Odin's raven? You know, from... Hugin and Mullin. These two aren't like the spies we see around the realms. Hugin and Munin are Odin's own weird magical pets. Back at the house, I saw them disappear into his tattoos. Mira told me once how they came to be that way, how they were normal ravens until uh, once until Odin captured their whole unkindness. Most of them he roasted and ate for supper. Wow, that, that's one way to deal with those. But on Hugin and Muggin, he, M Munin, he experimented wiping their memories and binding them to his will. Mimir also referred to them as right, pe right pricks, even for birds. Hugin and Munin? He's a pretty good guy. Munin. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. <laughs> Little baby lizards. Ugh. Uh, that thing? is uh, not working, right? Alright, time to climb. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. Who knows? I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Now you say? I mean, a little ironic, last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. Oh. Oh, shit. Yeah, that is kind of risky. <laughs> Even for a trace. But he's got that good old... Plot armor. And he's not afraid to use it. Thanks, Yolder. Hope you're right. He's so nice. Skjolder. Skjolder lives outside the walls of Asgard in a camp of refugees from Midgard. I guess Odin actually saved a lot of people from the desolation, even though he caused it. Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, perfectly balanced, right? I wouldn't have believed that, but I can tell Skjolder is honest. He's nice, funny, and above my age. I didn't come to Asgard to make friends, but maybe I already have. Yeah, he really does seem nice. Hopefully he won't backstab us. Like, 99% of the others. Here's temple. So Oof. beautiful. No wonder we yeah. can use it to come here. Doesn't look like it's working anymore. Dude, this is so gorgeous. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. Yep. And now what? There. Wait, but what's... What is down there? I guess we're not getting there anymore. Hey, Hugin, don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, I don't think you can talk. That's what I thought you'd say. <clears throat> oh, for fuck's sake. Why? Up here? Dude. How come? Stop! 
Shit! It's gonna explode! Oh my gosh. Don't you dare do that to me. What? Killing your white splits into whiffs, so don't let them up until you've finished off a lot of them. Alright. Shut up, bro. Yeah, it couldn't even help me. Let's get that chain down. Well, ah, okay. Alka. Hello. Chain. Yeah. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Yeah, they're like custom made to be Odin's puppets. Hence why you can't hear their thoughts, I'm guessing. Breathe and yes! Oh, dude. I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Oh no, that's what I thought. Come on. Oh hell no. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Alka! Oh shit! Gotta jump over there! Come on! Dude, there's more! Stop! You stop that nonsense right now. Oh boy, okay. Let's see what we missed. For luck. Anything else down here? Nope. There was something here. We have no other choice. Yeah. Oh, I get it. Don't need help. Why would I need help? Game. What's going on here? Whoa. Oh. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. Both sides. Oh, can I jump down here? Alright. So, like this. And then... This. Right. this might work. Oh, why did I do that? Damn it. I can't jump. No. Here we go. Oh shit. Come on. Made it. Ah! Woke up more wind. Where are you coming from? From above? Probably, right? No? Hey, 
You get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Yeah. All right. But well, it's not that far anymore. More shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. Oh boy. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reimther's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! Oh shit. So, what did Loki do? He kept climbing. Oh, he just dude. Kept climbing. His arms hurt, his fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One. Almost there. Foot Come on. At a time. You can see All it. the way to the top. Monk God trees. <sighs> Nowhere to go but up. <clears throat> okay. Okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on. Oh, come Why? On. Why? That one got me a bit. Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. I, I love the transitions between the gameplay and the cutscenes. They're so smooth. I didn't even notice it was a cutscene. Hello. Uh, Hi. Who are you? Hi. She so, looks evil. What part of the enormous wall made you think? Oh, visitors must be welcome. Oh, come on, dude. I was sent for, actually. By Odin? The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. And then why are you out there? And not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Come on, dude. Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, All Father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you? That's Talk. between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or...? <sighs> no, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. Whoops. I am not your enemy. <sighs> I will be the judge of that. I don't like him. This way, Loki of the Yotnar. I have yeah. a fi Is that Are you I'm Heimdall? feeling obviously. I don't now like. Feel him. free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders, especially giants. 
Yes. Why not steal anything that is not nailed down? That is sure to impress your hosts. That's that's exactly what I thought as well. That's why I'm doing it. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Bro, you smell your own farts. Nothing good is going to come from being in Asgard. You smell your own farts and think it's cologne, right? That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Shut the fuck up. Heimdall. Heimdall, the bearer of Gjallarhorn. Mimir said he was dangerous, a true believer of Odin. He didn't mention what a complete jerk he is. Or... Or that he seems able to read people somehow. The less time I spend around this guy, the better. Yeah, I can't wait to see him die. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost Shit. as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burned. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. Ugh, I can't stand him. He sounds greasy. Slimy, even. Whoa. Are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you. Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Dalmur. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge. I know you're... the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? What a jerk. Hey, Helmets! I brought you a practice job. What? I thought we were going to own it. You see, the thing is, you do. So I am not letting you anywhere near the altar. You know what? I'm done with this. Is it? Oh, my God. 
inventory. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep our father waiting? Funny thing, I am sure about that. Yes, I'm feeling very sure, matter of fact. Come on. Whoa! Whoa! How is he doing? What the fuck? Am You're I counting to be on here? that to protect you? Guess those arms could not lift a real shield. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Otis! You'll be seeing him from your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense! I'm sorry. Oh no! Arrows! How fearsome! Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? Oh, not even close. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. <laughs> like it or not, he's all father's guest. I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. <laughs> Loki, you made it. I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy. It's false, all father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh, <laughs> you're just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. I'm off of it. Oh, my. See, I'm Time to, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? No. See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here! And take your stupid contact lenses with you. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? I relate. Hey, I got some places to be. Father, take the news that you decided to accept my invitation. I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh? <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Because he's a kid. Priest, meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went as far as here. Valkyries. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Are those hey, the Valkyries hey, from hey. the trailer? I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really? Yo, what they look when sick. I'm not here? Oh, Queen Gnaw. The Ainhyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. 
There's, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these ain't hairy are. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little Who's far. that? I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. Oh my gosh. It's important, don't you think? A sense of identity. How many gives more? things meaning. No, 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 I want to go to the Valkyrie now! Moon the Nafen, Rothgar. Moon the Nafen, Swarm. Great. Moon the Nafen, Tiana. What are you doing with them? Okay, next up. No, I want to see the Valkyrie! Come on. Ah, the books. Good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen. Jürgen! I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But, but with all respect, respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone who'll take initiative. That looks good. Is that brave? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So Thor. Erlen, try to stay away for me. Okay, but... I look, forgot about that. Don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in. A major learning opportunity. For Buckos. What about my family? My friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truth is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep. Just over here. What is happening? Feel free to come and go. Take what you need. Poke around as you please. What is You're this hospitality? And more importantly, I'm not your father. I'm not your daddy. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. Milady. Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The that's, situation is with the dwarves. That's a gorgeous you know lady back. right there. That's yeah, always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. Sif. Meeting Sif was really uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe for you. She was so icy towards me, I started to worry she knew what I did to Modi. But I know nobody saw that. It's bad enough that she blames father and I'm in her home. If I know that, if I know what's good for me, I think I do. I'll just stay out of her way. Please don't stay out of her way. Yeah. All right, <laughs> I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there, all father. Uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the Where? cut? You're draining puck pockets. You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. We're in Swerfelheim. Damn. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised, on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down. And they're not about to start now. Right? Good.
No. No. This okay. is so cool. I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Odin! After all the terrible things I've heard about Odin, I never expected him to be so respectful to me. Back at the cabin when he invited me to Asgard, and since arriving here, he seems genuinely interested to know who I am and what I think. I know I can't trust him too far, but it's nice to be listened to. I feel safer around him than I thought I would. Because he's manipulating you. Dude. Let's see what answers he has for me. Isn't no uh, Odin even known for pretending to be weaker and more fragile than he actually is? Oh. Oh, armor crafted by the smiths of Asgard and fitted perfectly for Loki. Let's collect. Yes, I could try this on. Has less mud on it anyway. Bow abilities and runic summons have reduced cooldowns. A zero bow. Nice. Actually, nice. Runic recharge. Killing an enemy with a with a runic arrow immediately restores, um, one in its place. Upgrades increase the number of arrows restored. Whoa! I can use this. Nah, uh, I guess that's it. We could huh. upgrade our gear. Nicely equipped. What needs work? Okay, so the Yetnar bow, which I have now, greatly increased status from... Yeah, the status damage from Runic Arrows. Reduced cooldowns. This sounds actually really good. Greatly increased sound from melee attacks and bow shots. Huh. Should we try out? Should we try it out? Wait, I'm I'm supposed to craft it? Then I just get an easier bow. Wait a damn minute. Oh yeah, is your uniform? Ah, uh, okay. I I guess not really that much of a difference, is it? See, brothers. Brand vestment, and then this. I mean, come on! Priest runic arrow from a full clear deals increased damage. I like that. Enemies come from a runic arrow explode. I also like that. Using a half stone of reach stone refunds one runic arrow. You know what? Um, the runic recharge will do that instead. And then the bow. So we didn't actually get an earlier bow. We can just craft it now, if we want to. Let's do that. Why not? I mean, what are we collecting all these resources for? Mm. If not for Nicely this. Equipped. What needs work? Sure. Let's equip it. Um, greatly reduced cooldowns. I don't want to waste the resources. Oh, there was something else we could upgrade. I'm sorry. Let's check that out as well. Hmm. Nicely equipped. equipped. What needs work? Oh, special items. Superior resurre- Wait. We can get resurrection stones for him as well. But who's going to resurrect him? A magical stone that revives one from death with a small amount of health. Um... Press yeah went down to allow your companion to resurrect. Yeah. Same with this, but uh, you get a large amount of health. Let's just craft one. Why not? I'm not planning on dying with our trees, but who knows? You know? Fury Resurrection Stone. Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Oh, whoops. Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh huh. 
And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You've got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Yeah. They're built differently. Uh, someone will clean that up. So, uh... What, what kind, kind of sword, sword is that? It's, it's new. new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Join the owl father and his study when ready. Bro. That's my room. Used to be Magni's. Guess I'm moving up. Yeah, right. What I'm wondering is why does everyone only care about Modi dying? Because Magni also died. He had a pretty rough death. But people only care about Modi, right? Why? Why is that? Maybe because Magni died in, in a fight. So it's... um, It's seen as, as something heroic, I guess. Well, so Modi a Valkyrie? just get pushed off until I'm the best I can be. Quick. Then I wait till grandfather notices, and then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this. Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did? Why does he want him here? Mom! Come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. Damn. Please do not involve me in your pathetic attempts to impress one another. He, on the other hand. Come on, you haven't had enough Heimdall in your day? Let's go. Gorgeous lady. Listen, whatever grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Oh, there she is. Well, I think we're going to be stopping here for today, actually. I want this episode to be a little bit shorter since the previous episode was so incredibly long and took me so long to edit and render. This is a, a beautiful part of the game, uh, an amazing part of the game that I did not expect whatsoever, especially not since Atreus is fully on his own. Um, when I was thinking about Atreus maybe going to any other realms, I thought that he would take Sindri with him. But uh, Sindri chose to just trust his brain matter and stay at home which our trees probably should have done as well but i mean if he did we wouldn't be able to meet all these great and awesome minus heimdall people so yeah but anyways thank you so, so much for watching as i said before hope you're having a great start into the new year hopefully 2023 is going to be amazing for all of us um thank you so much for sticking with me for so long already uh 2022 was great um i've had the most fun last year um with the channel and the let's plays i'm doing and everything and 
I wouldn't do this if it wasn't for you. So thank you so much for everything, for all the support and love. Um, yeah, leave a like if you want to. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye.